Welcome back on Gaming, this is Devin, and in 2023, everyone's loving their remakes, remasters. They are, of course, very good games there, but uh, this could become, of course, a very slippery slope just because a lot of gaming developers, gaming companies can go ahead and see how uh, good these games are doing, how well these are selling, and of course, these are a lot easier to go ahead and make than a new IP or something like that, so um, yeah, that's something to worry about, but... I mean, there's a lot of games that can be remade, remastered, but there's only a certain amount that actually need it. And, I mean, I think we saw that with The Last of Us Part 1, a game that was not needed. And then, of course, we have rumors of Horizon Zero Dawn uh, possibly coming to PS5, so that game's not needed as well. And, I mean, for, for these games, I know that they're just labeled as remastered or, or remakes, but these games in general are just games that really needed it. And they have their own reasons of why that they needed it. Uh, so, for example, Metroid Prime. This game originally came out on GameCube. 2002 it came out. And, I mean, there's a lot of time that's happened since 2002 and 2023. Um, and then also, before this game came out, um, the, the, the 2023 version of it, uh, the GameCube version was probably what 70 80 dollars somewhere around then so to go ahead and play this game you had to spend that much now in 2023 you can just pay 39.99 for it you get a great game that it was back then uh but you just get the best version of that and sort of like relating this to the last of us part one this game when it came like i was saying is that on gamecube it was like 70 80 dollars and now it's 39.99 to play it the Last of Us Part 1 on PS4 or 5 was about $5, was nothing. And then it ended up becoming $70, $80 with a remake of the game. So, you know, it's disgusting in that situation. But, I mean, that's why Metroid Prime is a very well-needed game right now. Then we have next Dead Space, which was a game that came out in 2008. And I would say that this one here... It came out, of course, during the PS3, and the PS3, I think, is one of the, the, the worst generations in a way just because it, of course, had the cell processor. So a lot of these games, they're pretty difficult to go ahead, get on the PS5. Uh, it doesn't work with the PlayStation Now, cloud, streaming, whatever it is nowadays, um, just because you got to stream it. And streaming doesn't work for these games, these PS3 games. Um, but, I mean, there's a lot of games that can be you know, that I would love a remake or remaster of, uh, Motorstorm, Resistance, Infamous, um, uh, Metal Gear Solid, Guns of the Patriots. So there's a lot of games that could use that from the PS3 generation. And I mean, a lot of the older games, they do look rough nowadays, um, especially like, you know, a game like Dead Space when it originally came out. Uh, so this game, you know, is another game that has a specific reason why it's doing good. And then, of course, the, the final game here is Resident Evil 4, which originally came out on GameCube uh, 2005, and or maybe two, yeah, 2005, I think. But uh, this game here originally came out on GameCube, and, uh, of course, the uh, GameCube version was the worst version of it, um, just because of the, the graphics and such. And then later it came out as an HD version, but really didn't do that much to improve it over the GameCube version. So uh, basically we're doing a complete you know overhaul of that game to the 2023 version. Um, and you know just <laughs> just from a, a, a GameCube game in 2005 to a PS5 game in 2023, I mean, of course, you're going to see a lot of differences, and this game was very good, of course, when it came out as well, and as we can see before the release date of the remake one, uh, the demo, it, it's a it's phenomenal, uh, but each one of these games have specific reasons of why they're needed right now. It's not just uh, remakes and remasters are doing good just because they're remakes or remasters. There are specific reasons to why these games are highly rated and sold and selling really well in that but anyways let me know of your opinions down below comments uh let me know what you think like subscribe all that good stuff and uh, we'll see you later bye mm -hmm.